video which goes with the Year 7 Parents Evening on the 7th of March. There should be another video from Mr McGee as Head of Year. And all I wanted to do was just go through some key aspects of activities in school and uh, to give you an idea of um, how to give your feedback to us. Um, I just wanted to pick up on our school values. You, you've had nearly two terms with us as parents of the school, and I hope that um, you reiterate some of these things that we talk about in terms of atomic habits and values at home. Uh, we feel that that's where we work best together. We certainly talk about them a lot in school through year assemblies and key stage assemblies, and that's what we want the boys to, to live up to, really, that idea of them being a credit to themselves and you and, and us as a school. And, and they do that by doing the little things well, those atomic habits that they do every day. And um, You maybe have picked up in my monthly newsletters that I've made some changes to the homeschool agreement, um, what we will provide as a school, what we expect from the boys and what we ask you to do as parents. So please do have a read of that. That's available in the February newsletter. Um, only little tweaks really just to, to bring us up to date with the way we operate as a school now and some of our online provision. But um, it's worth having a look at because we feel that for their benefit, we, we work uh, well with you and, and, and they get good outcomes. Um, an opportunity for you to come into school after Easter is to find out more about the year seven weeks. I talked about that when you first came into the school as being a unique selling point of the school. And we hope that as many of the boys as possible will go on their Farkinis weeks as a form uh, across May and June. So Mr Hudson will be sending out a letter very soon about this. And um, the information evening is just designed to answer some basic questions compulsory attendance is not required um, but if you do want to come along and you, you're worried about anything please do um, please do come along or, or reach out to us at the school but the boys generate a huge amount of um, opportunity through that and, and also build their relationships with each other um, and grow and for many of them it might be their first time away from home and we realize that's a big step but I think it's an important one for them to take as independent learners so uh, please do reach out to us on that but you'll get some communication very soon. Um, with that and with other school trips, we always talk about our financial support. So I've mentioned this quite a lot of times in assemblies. And if you've had any letters for any initiatives, you've probably heard about this. But um, I've just put a branch in a diagram there on the screen, which shows you how to find it on our school website. So under parents and students and welfare and support, there's lots of different ways in which we can uh, support you and your child. And it's not just for those that qualify for pre pupil premium or free school meals that's that's open for anybody to apply to um, and certainly as they go up the school and, and and have the opportunity to do some of the higher cost items uh, and trips then then it may be something that you need to use it isn't just for trips it could be for equipment it could be for music lessons etc so please do have a look at that i wanted to draw your attention if you haven't seen to some uh, big focus weeks that we've had across february and march so we're in National Careers Week at the moment. In fact, I've, it's Monday as I'm recording this and I've just been at the presentation from Mohammed Al-Sharif, which was absolutely fascinating and good to see lots of lower school students in that uh, talk. But we've got them all through the week this week. And uh, in February, just before the half term, we had the mental health event. So uh, we run these events each year and there are opportunities for parents, particularly in the mental health week, to get involved with them. So I, I'd strongly encourage that. And there's also lots of things on our website. So we've got the eSafety and PSHE resources on there. There's also some careers work um, that's on there. So do have a look at it. Um, it's a big thing when they move to secondary school and lots of different things being thrown at you. But we try and make it as accessible as possible. Um, and, and again, as I said at the start of my presentation, we want to work with you on this. Uh, moving on to sport, it's been fantastic to see so many of the Year 7 boys getting involved in sport and I put two fantastic pictures on there uh, from the hockey and the rugby teams quite recently um, showing how much they really get out of it and, and I'm sure that many of them have played hockey and, and rugby for the first time since they've come here and I've seen plenty of them very early in the mornings and you've probably dropped them off uh, here for cricket training as well and, and we're hoping for a good summer of cricket fixtures. Um, of course, as I've mentioned at the, the launch events, uh, we're looking to improve our sports facilities even further through our uh, future sport project, putting the AstroTurf in and sorting our drainage out and expanding our pavilion. So I hope that you've considered that. We've reached out to parents who signed up for this last summer. Um, we haven't had a huge amount back, if I'm honest, and it'd be great if um, I could hear from more year seven parents about how you can help in terms of volunteering or a financial gift to the school etc one easy way is through the birmingham run and i sent this out 
uh, as a separate email, and I've sent it in the February newsletter as well, about signing up to the Birmingham run. You can do that as a parent. The boys can do it through the junior run. Um, that's the two and a half kilometre one. So do think about that. Please do let us know through the MS form that was part of the letter and part of the um, the newsletter that I sent out. And you have to register through that website, through the Birmingham uh, Run uh, website. Uh, finally, for me, is just to say that we are collecting some parent uh, voice. Uh, we, we had the Austin inspection last March and uh, following that, we decided that we would run an annual parent survey. So you should get this very soon, certainly before Easter. And... Uh, a lot of the questions are based on the Ofsted parent view questions, uh, but there are a couple of additional things in there. So please do take the time to fill that in um, and we'll get back to you if there's any uh, concerns that are raised. But uh, that's the end of my presentation. I hope that you find Thursday's uh, subject presentations and, and, and appointments really informative and uh, I wish you well and look forward to seeing you at an event school. Bye now.